and stick them in the fridge. We want them to marinate for about four hours. It'll help tenderize, flavorize, and again, infuse flavor. And then about 30 minutes before you're ready to cook, pop them out of the fridge and we're going to rinse this off. Though I suppose you could just start seasoning with the whiskey and ginger on them. We tried this method when we did our rum ribs and those were some of the best ribs we've ever had in our life. Now, add the binder. We use yellow mustard because it creates the thickest bark and does not impart any mustard flavor, followed by about a quarter cup of back rub seasoning. It's got things like turmeric, paprika, orange peel, and other ingredients that are just great on these ribs. Or you can use any seasoning that you've got at your house. The bottom line is we want these ribs to taste incredible. Now I start seasoning the bone side of the ribs. That way when I flip them over, I don't have to worry about messing up the meat side. Flip them over, hit them with another layer of mustard and seasoning. And you want these to come up to temp for about 30 minutes before you smoke. This will also allow the seasoning to tack up, which will lead to a thicker bark at the end. 